In the last episode, we finished off Slayer, getting myself the Hydra Leather. I am kind of contemplating now going back for that Harpoon. I really don't want to, but it would be nice just to finish it off. I feel like I'm incomplete with Slayer. I've just finished Alkin on my items. We've got 166 mil in cash now, which is more than enough that I'm ever going to need probably in this account, unless I'm buying Death Runes and Blood Runes. But for now, we're doing okay. So the goals at the moment that I want to achieve is... Full Missouri from TOA, obviously if I can get a Shadow, that'd be amazing. And I also want to do the Master Combat Achievement, so I'm probably going to work towards those two goals as my main goals for now. We still have a lot of combat tasks to do. I'll start from easy and work my way through, but for example, we'll go to easy. The first boss is Brow Fighter. I'll just try and do all the tasks for Brow Fighter. And then when we move on to the Deranged Archaeologist, I will try and do all the tasks for Deranged Archaeologist. That's probably how I'm going to go ahead and do it. But before we do anything, I do need to get myself some more potions. The prayer pots especially are looking very dire right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do some herb lore. These is, well, this is how the, the tab is looking at the moment. Fingers crossed I've got enough supplies to make a decent amount of potions. Honestly, that should be fine for now for supplies. I think we have more than enough potions to get through the next couple of weeks. Uh, I do need to do more farming though. My herbs are looking a little dire. So I have no more runners. I don't even have that many runner seeds. 59 isn't that many. However, I should get a lot of them from doing TOA, but... Honestly, I've got enough food. We've got enough potions for now. This is more than enough, I think. All right, so we are going to be starting off with Bryo Fighter. I'm hoping I should be able to do all the combat tasks in one go, apart from the one where I have to do it on a free-to-play world, which we'll come back and do later. I'm not going to do the clue scrolls. We've got 20 mossy keys. If I can get the essence, that would be amazing. Let's do some combat tasks first. Right, Bryo is poisoned. I, okay, I need to wait for Bryo to die now from the poison. There we go. That is Quick Cutter, which we've done. A slow death. Protect from the Mossy and, yeah, prep, it's perfect. I think we've done all of them, like I said, apart from the one now, which we need to do in a free-to-play world. Rather than, yeah, rather than me reading them all out. Sweet. So the last one, I just need to kill Bryo Fighter in a free-to-play world, which we'll do at the very last key. So now I'm just going to go back in. And hopefully, I'm not going to do the clue scrolls because screw doing clue scrolls. Hopefully, we can get ourselves the essence. So, 19 keys. Let's do this. I may be a little over prepared for this free to play kill, but yeah, I look like an absolute chad. This is the best free to play gear I have. So, fingers crossed uh, we don't die because I would hate to lose everything. But I think we'll be okay. There we go. It was a close fight. I'm not going to lie. We almost died there. I'm joking, of course. There we go, though. That is green combat achievements for Bryo Fighter. So now it is time to move on and do the Deranged Archaeologist. I don't really need to pay attention to these. I got 25 kills to do anyway, and I'm hoping within 25 kills, we should have everything done. So 25 KC there. Fingers crossed we don't need to do any more tasks after that. That should be two CAs. It is perfect. So killing him with Mage, and then the second one was to not get hit by the... What's the spell called again? Learn to read. I think it is something like that. Now I just need to get 25 KC and then we'll be done with this boss. This shouldn't take too long though. That was a very quick kill. Well, there we have the 10 kills of the deranged archaeologist. Now we just got to do 15 more and we're done here. This honestly isn't that bad. The kick, the kills are really quick. You learn to read, mate. There we go. 25 KC at the deranged archaeologist. And that is all the combat tasks done. I don't think he attacks me actually. So if we have a look at the deranged archaeologist now. You should be green. There we go. Perfect. Right. What is next on the list? So it goes to Easy's. The next boss is Kill a Fire Giant. How have I not done that? How have I never done that? Okay. We'll go and kill a Fire Giant. That should be two combat tasks. So kill a Fire Giant and to kill a Fire Giant, Moss Giant, and a Hill Giant all in the Giant Den. Very easy tasks there. Hence why they're probably in the easy tier. Right, what have we got next? Obor. Do I have keys for Obor? I don't think I do. I'll go and check the bank. I may have to get some Obor keys. I was not expecting to get a collection log slot for a giant key. But fair enough. <laughs> there we go. One giant key. Uh, I need five of these, but I'm going to go get a scythe. Uh, I'll bank them all anyway. But yeah, I, I can't believe I just got a giant key collection log slot. But fair enough. All right, we have five Obor keys, which should be more than enough that I need to do all these tasks. So most of them, again, I should do quite easily, getting five kills, killing it whilst it's immobilized. That's not a problem. Kill Obor without being pushed back more than one tile, stand against a wall, and kill Obor without taking any damage off prayer. I'm hoping I can do most of these in one kill and then just do the free-to-play one afterwards. 
Um, but yeah, let's go. Hopefully this goes pretty well. I think we pre mage uh, range. Sorry, we'll find out though. Well, there's the first kill. Uh, I did a few of those. I think I got pushed back. Oh, he melleed me. Okay. As long as I don't... Yeah, we, we should be fine. He says. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right, that should be the task for not taking any damage. Perfect. Off prayer. Perfect. Right, so now I just need to do five kills and then do one kill on a free-to-play world. Need to make sure I do that kill and don't forget about it, though. Right, that should be it. Should be five kills and defeat Obor on a free-to-play world. And we get a giant key to celebrate, which I guess we'll put in the bank and never do again. Because I do not want to kill him again in a free-to-play world. But that, again, is the combat tasks for Obor completed. Where is it? Obor, six out of six. The next one is Mole. I've already had a look. So let's see what tasks we need for Mole. There's quite a few here. i got to kill Mole ten times, 25 times. Kill a giant Mole without her damaging anyone. Kill a giant mole without a berry more than two times. Kill a giant mole within 10 seconds of her resurfacing. And kill a giant mole within four or fewer instances of damage. That's got to be a tough one to do. Oh, maybe DH or something? I don't know. Let's go and figure it out. Is that the first combat task? It is. Nice. <laughs> Avoiding the little arms. Hard hitter. Why are you running? <laughs> I don't even know what all these are. But nice little combat tasks there. That's three of them done already. That was actually really quick. I wasn't expecting to do that first time round. That might be it. That that's potentially it. There we go. Whack a mole. Kill it in ten seconds of its dig of it digging. That wasn't that bad at all. Now I just gotta do ten KC and twenty five KC and we're done. That was actually really easy to do. I thought it'd be a bit more difficult. Yeah, that was three. There we go. That is ten kills at mole. Fifteen kills to go, and then we're done at the giant mole. That's four hit mole. I did. Very nice. Giant mole champion. That should be green log four mole as well. Let's just double check real quick before we move on. Bosses. Giant mole. There we go. Green log for mole. Back to the overview. On to eases. What is our next boss? Winter Todd. I'll be honest. I'm not looking forward to going back to Winter Todd. Winter Todd, Tempros, and Scurrious. And then we're done with eases. During the day when I don't fancy doing any combat achievements, I will be going ahead and trying to get 99 prayer. I should have more than enough bones here, and I'm just going to do the suicide method. I could do the tank method, but honestly, I don't think it saves that much time. I've just got myself the enchanted symbol, so fingers crossed that should kill me a little quicker. We'll start with the hydro bones and work our way backwards. Hopefully we don't die. I will use the 2.2k total world, though, so fingers crossed there won't be that many PKs there. Something else I unfortunately have to do is go back to Zulra. So I have zero scales in my bank. Okay, I have one scale in my bank. But uh, my my stuff isn't looking too great at the moment. So, yeah, back to Zulra. I'm recording this just in case we do get any drops. I'm not expecting anything, but it would be nice to get some shards. So either way, we'll be there for a little while. Just before we head into Zulra, I'll show you guys the collection log. So we've got the pet already. We've got two magic fangs, four serp visages, and three Tans fangs. So honestly, pretty good. We've also had three onyxes from here as well. I would like to see some more items. Uh, obviously, each one of these we break down. I think it's like 20 or 20, I think it's 25,000 scales, which is a lot of scales. Either way, like I said, we'll probably be here for some time. I need to get some scales. There we go. That is 1,500 kills at the... I almost said Alchemical Hydra then. It's been a while since we've been there. At Zolra. Still need more scales though. That is a beautiful sight to see. A Tanzanite Fang. I think that means I can leave Zora for a little while. That should be a plenty of scales. 1,544 KC. Nice. Right, let's break this down, recharge everything, and then uh, back on to doing some CAs for a bit. Well, back to the combat achievements. It is time to do Winter Todd. Some of these are going to be a bit painful to do, but honestly, for the most part, they shouldn't be that bad. I just have to subdue Winter Todd with four pieces of warm clothing. I hope that having the full pyro count uh, set counts as that. I'm wearing technically more than four pieces, but if I need to do it again, I can do it again. I need to subdue Winter Todd without allowing all four brazes to be broken at the same time. Should be able to do these two in one game. This one might take some practice, so I might need some help with this one. So subdue the Winter Todd without any of the pyromancers falling. And this I can just do in a solo. Only 3,000 or more points is fine. I can easily just solo that one. Uh, fingers crossed this goes well, though. Uh, haven't done Winter Todd in a while. I highly doubt I'll 
die though. It's a very easy combat achievement to do so. There we go, cozy, and we can fix it. Perfect. Two CAs done. That was nice and easy. Uh, and now for the rough ones. Well, I say rough ones. They shouldn't be too bad. I will be keeping all of my crates. I'll just open them at the end. Honestly, I don't expect to get anything too spectacular from these. Uh, but with my pet look at the minute, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we bagged ourselves the Phoenix. Okay, that was actually really easy. I just got a load of potions, uh, ran around, made sure the pyros were healed fully, and then got my 500 points. Okay, perfect. Now to do a solo and get 3,000 points, and then we are done with Winter Todd. I could do this in three games. I did not think it'd be that easy. I could have done it in two games if I was a little more well-equipped in the brain, shall we say. But easy. Very, very easy combat achievements. There we go. Why Fletch? Combat tasks completed for Winter Todd. Only took me three games. What is next for easies? Scroll down. Looks like we have Temporos next. I'll be honest. I am not looking forward to this. But maybe... We will be blessed and bag ourselves a dragon harpoon from looting. I very much doubt it, but you never know. You never know. Let's open up these crates, see if we can get a pet. Nope. No pet, unfortunately. Some more totem pieces. Not more totem pieces. I'm still on the Scatido mindset. More burnt pages, though. All right, on to Temporos we go. Fire in the hole. Uh, I just need one more CA, which we could potentially do here. Nope. I need to have a broken totem or broken mast. Apparently, I've done most of the CAs here already. I must have done that when I was grinding Temporos. So I just need to repair one of these, and then we are done with Temporos. So honestly, very quick combat achievements to tick off here. Yes. Repair. There we go. That is all the CAs done for Temporos. That took me one game, and it's not even completed yet. Okay, that was, I thought I had to do all the CAs here. I'm so thankful. Past James went through and did all those. So well done to me. We have four loots here. I mean, I just want the, the harpoon. If I don't get the harpoon, then it's whatever. I guess one day we'll end up going back to worms. Oh, God. I'm going to have to go back to worms, aren't I? Anyway, on to Scurious. There we go. So there is Scurious Novice and Perfect Scurious on the first KC. To be fair, Rune Barlax, that is not a bad shout. Do these just not die? Do I have to kill these? Okay. So we've got a few kills to do here. I need to get one of the unique, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Scurious Bones or something to make the rat weapon. So wait, uh, it seems like a pretty easy boss. I like it though. Jagger's done a good job this. I, I, I like it. It's a good job. Good job, Jagger's. Well done. Oh, uh, right. 3KC and we have the spine already, which means I can do the CAs very easily. Cool. Uh, I will teleport out, make the mace, and then come back. <laughs> What is the drop rate on that, actually? It's a 1 in 33. Okay, very lucky for that one. Very, very lucky. All right, let's make ourselves the new Bone Mace. Yes. I believe this is actually really good against Scurious. I think it hits, like, the same as, like, a Blade of Sailor or something like that. I heard it's really good. So we need to do a CA with it anyway. Absolutely gaming. Look at that. It's a shame it's not called a Flail. Definitely looks like a Flail to me. Right, that, that has to be two CAs there. Efficient pest control. I definitely finished off Scurious with a bone mace there. Maybe I have to do the full fight with the bone mace. Yeah, I'll just do the full fight with it because it clearly didn't count that. Right, there we go. Sit rat. So that is finishing off Scurious with a rat bane weapon. I was doing it on the normal worlds. I didn't realize it had 1500 HP rather than the normal 500. So now we just need to kill it 10 times and then we're done with the CAs for Scurious. There we go. That is all the CAs done for Scurious. And we are also done with the easy combat achievements. So it took us long enough to do those. Now let's move on to mediums. Although to be fair, it doesn't look like I've got a lot to do for mediums. Let me go back to the overview. Yeah, we don't have a lot to do at all. I see we're going straight to Barrows, though. I'll have a look at the Barrows. Oh, no. I don't want to do these CAs. I've heard they're kind of rough. I've got two to do. Okay, what are we going to do? Can't touch this. Okay. I can't touch me. And then kill all six brothers and loot the chest whilst having, without ever having more than zero prayer points. That shouldn't be too hard. This one might take a little while. Barrage, maybe. There we go. Can't touch me. First CA done. Now we're just going to do it with no prayer points. That was honestly not that bad. It took me two attempts. The first time I ran into Torag, 
Uh, but the second time, that was very, very easy. Just barrage and run away. Nice. There we go. Faith Crypt Run. Not going to lie, saw that. Saw the pop-up for a moment there. I thought I got the Torag Plate Body, which is a lot. I think, is it the Torag Plate Body I need for CL's uh, collection log here? Let me just teleport out actually before something kicks my head in. Collection log for Barrows. Oh, no, it's a Guthan Helm I need. I got the Torag Body. Never mind. Now we're on to the Chaos Fanatic. The hardest one here is going to be killing the Chaos Fanatic 10 times without drinking any potions, which restores prayer or even the wilderness. So fingers crossed the PK doesn't come. We're just going to go with this inventory. It should be fine. I can recharge my prayer at the Chaos Altar. Um, kill it 25 times, kill it 10 times. They will come in time. But I'm doing this one first just in case it takes me a while. I'll be taking a burning amulet with me to get there. Fingers crossed we don't die. It is a Sunday though after all, so pretty peak time. Now we have 10 kills at the Chaos Fanatic. That was very quick to do. I need one more kill and then we have the 10 kills without leaving as well. <laughs> oh, I just got a malediction shard. <laughs> cool. Anyway, praying to the gods. Very nice. That is the... Uh, is that a collection log slot? It certainly is. Very nice. Okay. Now I just need to get 25kc here. I am so lucky at the minute. I guess my luck has finally turned around. Now let's come back with some actual supplies now. Oh, this is it. That is it. That is the Chaos Fanatic done. I'm just going to double check the combat tasks here just to make sure though. Yeah, Chaos Fanatic is done. Can't believe we got a shard. That's actually pretty insane. And we didn't see a single PK, which is nice. I don't know what's next, but on to the next grind. We have three tasks to do for KBD. So we have to kill KBD uh, with protection from melee activated, which you would pray melee anyway. Kill the KBD uh, with an anti-fire potion and an anti-dragon fire shield equipped. So I need to make sure I do that one. And then kill the King Black Dragon 10 times in a privately rented instance without leaving. I'm probably going to use a Blood Fury for that. But honestly, it shouldn't take too long. 10 KC we've got to do. Let's head over and get some KC. Let's see if that's counted it. Yeah, cool. All right, that is two combat tasks. Now I just got to kill it 10 times in an instance without leaving. Right, fingers crossed. That should be the 10 KC in one trip. It is perfect. And we are now done with the CAs for KBD. The next ones are Perilous Moons, which are actually new CAs. So if I go over to the combat list, look at the mediums. The only ones we have left now should be right at the... Oh, no, we've got Sarachnus one. We'll do the Sarachnus ones first. Then we've got Perilous Moons. All right, time to do the Sarachnus achievements. So quickly check what they are. Bosses, Sarachnus. We have to kill Sarachnus with any crush weapon. That shouldn't be too hard. I got a bludgeon. Kill Sarachnus without her using a range attack twice range attack twice in a row. Should be able to do that first time. And kill Sarachnus without her dealing damage to anyone. Newspaper enthusiast. I are oh, enthusiastic. I don't know what that actually is, that one. Either way, we've got one of them down. Two to go. So that should be the CA for not taking any damage from Sarachnus herself. Uh, I failed the one where she can't do two range hits in a row because she ran to the other side of the room. So rather than making a ring of stone, I'll just keep trying it. I should get it within a couple of KC. Right, that should be all the CAs done for Sarachnus. Took a couple of tries, but we got it done. Perfect. Now we have to go and do a quest because I need to do Perilous Moons and we haven't done the quest for it yet. So time to do some questing. Great. I've realized this video is already getting pretty long. So I think we'll wrap this one up here. A decent amount of CAs done. All the easy ones, pretty much most of the mediums as well. I do want to work towards the master CAs, not only for the Thrall Timers, but also for that Vampire Slayer helmet, as well as the Avernic kit as well. And I believe you get the Godmo's Lucky Penny. So master CAs are so useful. And there's a bundle of other unlocks on the way as well, like increased clue scrolls and just generic better stuff for the account. As always, though, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new around here, drop a sub. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.
And just before we go, I'd like to give a special thank you to my channel members whose names are on screen right now. If you are looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can become a channel member for as little as £1 a month. Just click the join button below to find out more information. And of course, a special thank you to everyone that supports me over on Twitch.tv. I appreciate you guys so much and thank you.